All right, we want to prove this inequality. So basically, how does this go? We we know from uh, what is it? I had it written down here, one thirty three part e. I think it's a proposition that um, was it say z plus w norm is going to be less than or equal to the norm of z plus no. Nope, norm of z. Well, certainly it is less than or equal to the norm of c plus w because it's equal. But more importantly, this. Um, this takes... So basically we're doing induction. Um, this takes care of the base case. Now suppose z1 um, plus here, I'll just write this as the sum from 1 to n of zi is less than or equal to the sum from 1 to n of the norm of zi. Then we want to prove this for the next step. Um, basically, we have the sum from n equals 1 to n plus 1 of zi. Well, we can write this as the sum from 1 to n of zi plus, so this thing plus z n plus 1. And then we just use the base case, but with z here equal to this entire sum and w equal to zn plus 1 to get that this is less than or equal to the sum from 1 to n of zi plus zn plus 1. And then let's see here. Well, we know from the inductive hypothesis that this inequality holds. And so what we have is this is less than or equal to the sum from 1. So this thing is less than or equal to the sum from 1 to n of zi and we add z the norm of zn plus 1 so we get the sum from 1 to n plus 1 of zi as desired because oh nope this confirms the inductive step hence the claim holds so I kind of sped through this really quick because it's basically just a really easy inductive argument and there's not a lot of stuff you have to do all the work was done in 1.33 e in showing the base case um, so basically what we do is in order to prove that this holds for all n, we prove that holds for n equals 2, which is 1.33e, and then we hold, we prove that if it holds for n, right here, we conclude that it holds for n plus 1, and that's what we did, and so we're done with the exercise.